Hi and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how you can sniff usernames, passwords and web pages using Wireshark, also known as a network sniffer. A network sniffer is a tool that can help you locate network problems by allowing you to capture and view the packets on your network. Wireshark is available for free at Wireshark website and you can download for Windows, Linux and other platforms. But for this tutorial I will use Wireshark from my Windows machine. If you want to start Wireshark on Kali Linux, just open a terminal and type Wireshark and wait a few seconds. The protocols that we'll be analyzing are FTP and HTTP. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and HTTP for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. So let's get started. Wireshark is really easy to use actually. All you have to do first of all is tell it which interfaces you want to capture. So I will go up here and click Capture, Options and Interfaces. And then I have to pick the correct interface which I want to use. So I'm going to select it and press start and now I will start capturing traffic on that interface. Now let's say I want to connect to an FTP server on the internet. So I will open up a FileZilla connection to my web host and click quick connect. Now it's connecting to my web host online using my username and password which is FTP password 88. So I will stop the capture and close my connection and let's take a look at what we have. So here is the capture package. As you can see it's a ton of information but FTP is the protocol I'm interested in. And you can see right here user frostweb and then the password which is FTP password 88. If you follow the TCP stream, you can see the username and password. Now I'm going to show you how to obtain the username and password from an HTTP site. So once again click Capture, Interfaces and click Start. Then you want to go to the site you are trying to steal the login information and type in the username and password. I will put in test user and password just let me in. Now I will switch back to Wireshark and stop the capture. You also need to change the filter to HTTP request method equal equal and in caps post. This is just going to make the packet easier to find. When you locate the packet again use left click and select follow TCP stream. As you can see here is the user login and the password. So since packet sniffing is so simple, it is important to know how to protect against it. If you have to put any important information, make sure the site uses HTTPS, which is a secure protocol. So that's it for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.